Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> Only at the moment it's just Small's Cafe, because I can't find Ben anywhere. Hey, why don't you try and spot him? Ben? Ben? He's where? Over here? No. Where? Over here? Oh, I can't see him. Ben? Ben! <laughs> <laughs> it's only me, Small. Hello, everyone. What are you wearing? <laughs> it's a clown's wig and trousers. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I must look just like a clown, don't I? <laughs> well, almost, but there's something missing. Oh, yes, of course. You can't be a clown without... Shoes! Hey! It might be, I'm not sure. On go the shoes! <laughs> Look at me, I'm a clown. <laughs> no, it's still not quite right. There's something else. Something else? But there's nothing else here, Small. Oh, I know! I know what the problem is! The nose! The nose? There's nothing wrong with my nose. I've never had a problem with it. No, you need a clown's nose, a red nose. Of course. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to find, should it? I can use a... Oh, a cherry. <laughs> <laughs> too small. I know, a pepper. OK, a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> too, too stupid. stupid. Oh, well, what about a tomato? <laughs> <laughs> Too messy. <laughs> Aha! A customer. You'd better worry about your nose later, Ben. Worry about my nose later? Oh, you mean my clown's nose. OK. And I better take this wig and these trousers off if I'm going to be cooking. Go and see who it is, Small. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? <laughs> Well, well, fancy that. You should be able to guess who it is, Ben. Should I? Oh, yes. It's one of your favourite circus characters. Have a guess. Are you serious? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is, Ben. It's Charlie the Clown from the Runaway Circus. He's running around everywhere. He's so funny. Oh, well, we better make him something really funny to eat, then. Of course, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was walking through the wood. It was a beautiful day. Then I heard someone crying. And when I reached a clearing in the trees, I got a big surprise. There sat Charlie the Clown from the Runaway Circus, with his funny hair and baggy trousers and big shoes and red nose. He was terribly sad, so I asked him what the matter was. Charlie told me he'd set out for a walk from the circus and got completely lost in the wood. He'd been going around in circles for hours and hours and not getting anywhere. He was crying because he didn't think he'd ever find his way out and get home again. Well, I really wanted to help, but I only knew the way back to the cafe, and it was almost impossible to see which way the circus was. All the trees looked exactly the same as each other. But then I saw something that gave me a clue. There were Charlie's great big footprints. All we had to do was follow them, and I was sure they would lead us all the way back to the circus. And that's just what happened. It took a while because Charlie had zigzagged all over the wood, but we just kept on following his footprints 
and soon we saw the circus Big Top and he was home. Charlie was so happy to be back. To say thank you, he gave me a ticket to watch the show that night. It was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> Little Cook Small to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Yes, it was. A brilliant adventure, Small. And as you were so good at finding a way through the wood, maybe you'll be just as good at finding a recipe to feed Charlie the Clown. Hey, I'm back. This really is a tricky one, Ben. Hmm. Oh! We... <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Hey, hey! Here it is, Small. This should do the trick. Just the job! Strawberry Clown! <laughs> it makes me laugh just to look at it! <laughs> OK, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. Butter, got that. Mascarpone cheese. Oh, mascarpone cheese. Got that as well, Small. Biscuits. Biscuits, got those. Icing sugar. Icing sugar, got that, Small. Grapes. Oh, yes. Got the grapes. And strawberries. Strawberries. Oh. Oh. No strawberries. Hmm. Right, then. That's everything we need, apart from the strawberries. What are we going to do about those? Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Good idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along, too? <laughs> Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a beautiful day! This is a farm where you can pick your own fruit. Hello, can we have some pellets for strawberry picking, please? Certainly. Thank you. Yeah, for you. Thank you. Thank bye. you, bye-bye. Oh, they're going to pick strawberries, my favourite. Do you know what strawberries look like? There's a strawberry. Strawberries grow outside on bushes, close to the ground. Find the bigger one. That's it. When strawberries start to grow, they are small and green. But when they grow bigger, they turn red, and that's when they're ready to pick. Wow, look at that one. It's big and red, just like a clown's nose. You can have lots of fun picking strawberries. Everyone has a little basket to fill up. But remember to only pick the red ones. They've done really well. Their basket is nearly full. Gosh, you've been busy. Shall I weigh those for you? Yes, please. All the fruit has to be weighed so you know how much to pay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. I've picked some strawberries too. See you later. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm back! And I've brought the strawberries. <whistles> oh ho ho! They look delicious, Small. Were they easy to pick? Very. They were just the right height for me, Ben. <laughs> what do you think? Does it make a good clown's nose? Sorry, Ben. It's a funny shape and sort of speckly. Oh, well. Come on, Ben. Cheer up. Let's make a strawberry clown. You're right, Small. Let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. 
Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Strawberry Clown? You do. There was butter, two tablespoons, mascarpone cheese, 500 grams, biscuits, 12, icing sugar, 50 grams, grapes, two, and strawberries, two cups, one chopped and one sliced. And now we're ready to make a, a strawberry, strawberry clown. clown. These biscuits need to be made into biscuit crumbs. So we pop them into a plastic mixing bowl. There we go. And we use the end of a rolling pin to crunch them up. There we go. Crunch them all up. Clowns. What sorts of things do clowns do? Oh, I know. Juggling! Woohoo! Here we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Small. Next, a job for your grown-up helper, because it's going to get hot, hot, hot. I've melted the two tablespoons of butter into a saucepan over a low heat. And to that, we need to add our crunched-up biscuit crumbs. In they go, nice and slowly. There we are. And give them a good stir. Round they go. Oh, that looks very nice. Round and round. Lovely buttery crunchiness. Hey! So the next thing we need to do is add them to a baking tin. Now this is a special baking tin because the bottom comes out. So I'm going to turn off the heat and pour them in. There we are. There we go. Get them all in. There it goes. Nearly done. There. And we can use the back of our wooden spoon to press it down. Small the clown at your service. <laughs> I think I need to teach Ben some clown tricks. <laughs> now we take a bowl and add the mascarpone cheese. In it goes. Oh, yes. Lovely and creamy. Hey, Ben! Come and have a look at this. <laughs> what is it, Small? I've got something to show you. Oh, that's a pretty flower. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh, very funny, Small. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm teaching you some clown tricks, Ben. Oh, thanks a lot, Small. <laughs> <laughs> now, we put the icing sugar into the bowl. There we go. And then we add our chopped strawberries. Oh, that looks very nice. And give them a good stir. Wow, I'm good at this. I'd make a great clown. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. We've got a raisin. And what have we here? It's an umbrella. And we've got a spoon. <laughs> there we are. Now, on top of the biscuits, we put our strawberry mixture. There we go. On it goes. Make sure we get it all in. Oh, yes. I can almost taste the strawberry creaminess. And then, once again, we use our wooden spoon to smooth it round. Mmm, yummy! That looks perfect. Now all we need to do is put it in the fridge for one hour to set. 
In it goes. And now we can relax, Small. I'll set the timer. For one hour. It's ready. We can take it out of the fridge now. Here we go. And pop it down here. Oh, that looks great. How about this trick, Ben? Wait for it. Woohoo! Oh, no! I've pushed it out of the tin and put it onto a plate. All I need to do now is decorate it with some fruit. These grapes will make great eyes. Thanks, Small. One eye there and one eye there. And I can use these sliced strawberries to make a nice smiley mouth. There we go. Just one there. Pop them all the way round. Our clown is going to have a big smiley face. Here we are. And I can use this whole strawberry to make a big red nose. Eh. <laughs> it makes me laugh just looking at him. Yeah. Let's see if Charlie the Clown laughs too. One strawberry clown coming through. There we go. Whew. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. And it looks like he left a strawberry and a note. Well, what does it say, Ben? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my strawberry clown. It really made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> to say thank you, I've given Big Cook Ben something to finish off his clown's outfit. It's my red nose. <gasps> Look, Small, it's not a strawberry. It's a clown's red nose. <laughs> now I have the entire outfit. I can be a proper clown. <laughs> I think Ben's funny enough just as he is. But let's see, shall we? Hey! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Oh. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! Now I'm a real clown. <laughs> see you soon! See you soon! Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook forever. 